I'm here with federal member of Fremantle, Melissa Park, and we're talking about same-sex marriage. Now, current policy of labour recognises marriage between a man and a woman. What's your alternative to the new policy? Why should same-sex couples not have the same right that I do as a heterosexual woman to choose marriage to declare their love and commitment to each other? So far in life I haven't chosen marriage, but at least I have that choice. Same-sex couples don't have that choice and that's not fair. A society in which equality is the preeminent right is at its base a good and a fair society. And in a country that prides itself on egalitarianism and fair go, I think allowing same-sex marriage is very much in the spirit of Australia. It's also about removing discrimination. In its first term in government, the Federal Labor Government removed discrimination against same-sex couples in more than 80 Commonwealth laws and areas of public policy, including superannuation entitlements, taxation, access to health and welfare services. And I think removing marriage discrimination is the next logical step. De facto relationships are recognised, but why do you think there is still an opposition against same-sex marriage? Some people oppose same-sex marriage because they see marriage between a man and a woman as a tradition which must be upheld. But as we know, traditions change over time. There are some matrimonial traditions like payment of dowries and uh, a wife's vow of obedience to her husband, which we now regard as absurd. And there are very real-life implications uh, in, involved in marriage discrimination. The Human Rights and Equal Opportunity Commission, in its inquiry into same-sex, same entitlements, uh, heard about a lesbian couple, and one of these women was in hospital dying. Her lifetime partner was prevented by hospital staff from entering her hospital room to be with her uh, because she was not the spouse. And so that woman died alone while her partner had to sit outside in the corridor. And to, to this day, that woman is in great distress knowing that her partner died without her comfort and without knowing that she was there with her. Under freedom of religion, shouldn't these religions be allowed to continue their practices as specified in these beliefs, practices, customs and ideologies? Absolutely. Uh, we have full freedom of religion here in Australia. But removing discrimination in marriage against same-sex couples does not in any way impact upon people's right to practice their religion. Extending marriage to same-sex couples does not in any way lessen the value of marriage. Indeed, the fact that many same-sex couples wish to marry only reinforces the strength and the value and the relevance of marriage as an institution in our society. What are you going to do in terms of same-sex marriage to make it happen in Australia? Well, I'll be working within the party to, to see a change in the policy and given the strong support within the Australian community for a change in policy, I think that we will see that. There's a Labor Party conference happening at the end of the year and uh, I think this issue will be well and truly debated there and hopefully um, resolved positively. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you very much, my pleasure.